imagine yourself waking up on some random day and seeing all your data being corrupted with a pop up quoting that you have to pay thousands of bucks to get the access of your own system back this is what bad rabbit did hello everybody a very good morning to hod sir mr divakar yogi singh and css professor mr rudrendra bahadur singh for our presentation first of all i'm going to introduce the team hello everyone i am muskan giri Hi, Kavya Agrawal. I'm Nidhi Singh. Myself, Ishita Dhak from CS22. The topic of our presentation is Bad Rabbit Ransomware. We'll be discussing what is this attack, what happened, how it took place, how it was executed, and the remediations. So, what is Bad Rabbit? Bad Rabbit first appeared in October of 2017, targeting organizations in Russia. Ukraine and the US with an attack that is basically a new and improved NotPetya ransomware. Ukrainian authorities attribute bad rabbit to Black Energy. Now what was Black Energy? Black Energy was a threat group they also believe was behind NotPetya. Bad rabbit spreads through drive-by attacks and infects a computer and restricts user access to the infected machine until a ransom is paid to unlock it. Bad rabbit spreads via fake Adobe Flash updates using the popular social engineering trick of pretending to be an Adobe Flash installer and tricking users into clicking the malware by falsely alerting the user that their Flash player requires an update. The ransomware demands a payment of 0.05 Bitcoin or about 280 US dollars where 1 Bitcoin is equal to 8,35,048 Indian rupees. giving victims 40 hours to pay before the ransom goes up it had targeted almost 200 victims in countries like russia ukraine turkey and germany ransomware attacks are nothing new cyber security firm carbon black recently found 6300 online destinations where sellers were offering ransomware services More than 45,000 advertisements were found marketing such products to potential buyers who were looking to launch for an attack. What happened? The bad rabbit was a JavaScript code injected into the HTML code of the page of Adobe Flash installer. As the person clicks, the ma- malicious installer gets downloaded in form of text file, and after a post boot, bad rabbit encrypts file. and present user with a austere black and red message that demands for 280 US dollar in bitcoins in time span of 40 hour to get access of the files here's what a ransom message looks for the unlucky victims this message is shown when your system is attacked by bad rabbit it states that your files are no longer accessible if you want to get access of your own file back then all you have to do is to make a payment and get the decryption password the time limit that was given for this was of 40 hours and after making payment within the time limit they were guaranteed full access of data here here is a rough explanation of what actually happened during the attack the malware is distributed via a legitimate website that have been accompanied and inject uh, that have been comp- comprised and injected in javascript code the script re- re- redirects the user to a website that display a pop up encouraging them to download adobe flash player once the ransom is installed it is designed to replace the system master boot record system master boot record is the information in the fourth sector of the hard disk that identifies how and where the operating system is located so when so that it can boot into the computer's main storage or ram bad rabbit create a text file placing it on the desktop and lock the computer screen after a force reboot crypto wall 3.0 is dropped onto the system the files here are encrypted and ransom is asked to decrypt Where is it coming from? It hasn't been possible to attribute the ransomware to a country or a group of hackers. 
Analysis by security firm Malwarebytes found a number of similarities with NotPetya. Now let's see what was NotPetya. NotPetya took its name from its resemblance to the ransomware Petya. Petya and NotPetya are two kinds of malware that affected thousands of computers worldwide in 2016 and 2017. They both aim to encrypt the hard drive of infected computers. NotPetya is a malware infection that targeted Windows computers in Ukraine, was introduced in 2017 and alleged to be from Russia. Another analysis by Malwarebytes concluded that Bad Rabbit is probably prepared by the same authors as NotPetya. The ransomware exploits the server message block, which was also seen in NotPetya. Server message block is a network protocol which is used by Windows-based computers that allows systems within the same network to share files. While Bad Rabbit doesn't appear to include the eternal blue Windows exploit which was used in NotPetya and WannaCry, it does use one of the agency's security flaws. Eternal Blue is an exploit that allows cyber threat actors to remotely execute arbitrary code and gain access to a network by sending specially crafted packets. It exploits a software vulnerability in Microsoft's Windows OS. Significance of Code The security research have been not noticing similarities between the code of Bad Rabbit and NotPetya. Since both had a lot of similarities, it was thought that both may have same creator and even they both were delivered by some of the same hacked website domain. In a statement by Malwarebyte, it says, It looked like as if author was trying to improve upon his previous mistake and finished unfinished task. Who it has been hitting? A Casper Kiri, of the organization hit by the ransomware, a Russian. Similar but fewer attacks were seen in Ukraine, Turkey, and Germany. One of the most high profile Russian targets is the Interfax News Agency, which announced on Facebook that its servers had been hit. It was not as widely spread as non Petya and WannaCry. Overall, there are almost 200 targets according to KSN statistics. How does it spread? The bad rabbit ransomware spreads through drive by attacks where insecure websites are compromised. While the target is visiting a legitimate website, a malware dropper is being downloaded from the threat actor's infrastructure. So far, there is no indication that it spreads passively. It infects a machine through a malicious install folder, though it requires a user to manually click on .exe file. File recovery possibilities. Although it was guaranteed by the attackers that after a successful payment, they will be providing decryption key to get access of all the data, but later it was discovered that Bad Rabbit does not delete the shadow copies after encrypting the victim's file. Shadow copies are included in Microsoft Windows that can create backup copies of computer files even when they are in use. It means that if shadow copies have been enabled and for some reason full disk encryption did not occur, the victim can restore the original file by means of standard window mechanism. According to that, the attack was in the morning of October 24th, which ransomware called bad rabbit attack. The attack lasted until midday, and ongoing attacks were detected at 19.55 Moscow time. The server from which the bad rabbit dropper was distributed over various systems went down in Asia. Now, what is Kaspersky Lab? Is Kaspers Kaspersky Lab is a multinational cyber security and antivirus provider lab, which headquartered in Moscow, Russia, and operated by a holding company in the United Kingdom. Who was the attacker? The attacker is still unknown. It is not clear who was behind it. It is still unknown who is distributing the ransomware or why. But the similarity to Petya has led some researchers to suggest that Bad Rabbit is by the same attack group, although that doesn't help identify the attacker. 
what marks this attack out is how it primarily infected Russia, Eastern Europe, cyber criminal organization tend to avoid attacking the motherland, indicating this unlikely to be a Russian group. Many say that it was by Russia, for Russia, but many deny this. Now, limitations of bad driver ransomware attack. The victim of bad driver ransomware attack have to follow these steps. Firstly, contact law enforcement, then, then disconnect from any computer, server, or other equipment your network, determine the scope of the problem or new knowledge of which have intelligence. Look for free ransomware tools, but you don't have to rely, rely on them because most of the time they don't work for every type of ransomware attack and may not help you to get your files back. Now, some basic rules through which we can keep our system secure. Just be sure that you have an updated antivirus system, have an updated software, have an updated IPS, the latest rule declaration, backup your data on regular basis. Remember your backup. If all fails, at least you can recover your data. Do not click on suspicious URL that are the most dangerous thing. Install browser plugin to block pop-ups and JavaScript. Make sure to block a user account after multiple unsuccessful attempts, regularly scan your computer and apply the latest updates. Well, these techniques will provide an extra layer of protection to your security setup. Now, if you have any queries, you can ask us now. So I'd like to end. Based on its infection rate, it appears bad rabbit's influence has dwindled quickly. Although Bad Rabbit is almost at the end of its life, it's important to remember that ransomware tends to spread like weeds. If you pull one up, another grows in its place. So to bring things to a close, I'd like to say, think before you click. Thank you.